What's going on guys, uh, Element here, Z Element, or Leaman98, whatever you may know me as. Today I'm going to have my first uh, Photoshop tutorial and teach you something that I saw a while back. And when I did see it, the video was, the tutorial was created about eight months ago. And there were a lot of comments in the description, say, not in the description, but in the comments section saying, oh, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Blah blah blah. Uh, when you do this command, now I figured out why it doesn't work. Uh, no one else in the comments had figured it out, so I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'm going to do an in-depth uh, in-depth tutorial on how to do it. Show uh, show all you beginners in Photoshop, uh, like the I can't think of the words, the uh, the commands and stuff like that. And some of you may know this, but I'm going to try to make it quick. So for those who know these commands and stuff like that. You don't have to sit here and watch me do it, so you can just do it quickly. So first, just open up Photoshop. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is make a 2D logo 3D and make a PSD for it, for like a, so a certain logo, like what I did with this. I didn't have the SB logo, and SB directed wanted me to make him one, so I wound up just making my own, and it looks pretty sick. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but without all the the pop out stuff like this guy and this stuff um so here we go first you're gonna want to create a uh, new photoshop thing uh... make sure it's either a thousand by a thousand or eight hundred by eight hundred because that's a good like area make sure it's on rgb and not grayscale um... and then everything else should be fine make sure it's pixels so create the new document and first thing you want to do is unlock the background here by double clicking on the lock and then click ok and that'll unlock the background um, now, after that, what you want to do is, so here I have, not there, uh, right here I have the 2D SB logo, which is pretty simple. That's the newer SB logo from 2014. Uh, just drag and drop it in. You can use any logo you want. Um, now, scale it up by clicking the link button and just dragging over to be about the full thing, the full image. And then move it over wherever you want to position it. And then now this part you don't have to do, but you can do it. I think it just makes it look better. Um, hit Control T to open the transform uh, controls, and then now click on this little warp thing up here. Uh, you don't have to click on the warp thing. You can always go to Edit and then Transform and then Warp. But it's easier, I feel, if you just do this. So click on the warp thing. Now uh, you can do it any way you want. You can go in, but that kind of I don't know looks ugly. Uh, but what I like to do is you just bring it out a bit. So do that on each side until you have it complete. And now just uh, hit enter or you can hit the check mark here and then you're good. Now duplicate this layer, drag the copy down below, hide the top one. Now this is where everyone goes wrong. Uh, the first problem is because in the tutorial I watched um, they just say hit control T do this blah 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 they don't tell you that you have to already have this rasterized so you have to make sure this copy is rasterized or else the command will not work um, so rasterize the layer and now that that's done you hit control T to open up the transform com uh, controls again um, now what you do now is click the link button and then just change this to 99 percent so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it that like one percent smaller than the original copy okay so now that you're done with that you can hit uh, commit transform or enter one or the other um, so that's done so now what you do is this is where the command comes in that won't work if you do not rasterize the layer so uh, this is kind of you're gonna need like ten hands to do this but um, you need to hit four buttons at once. Now you can hold three down and then keep pressing one to repeatedly do it, which is what you do. And so you're going to hold Control, Alt, Shift, and T. Now when you press T, it'll make a duplicate. So just keep pressing T while holding the other ones. It make about 20 duplicates. Okay, so now I have 20 duplicates here, and you can see it says SB, copy, whatever. And now every time you did that, it made the one below it 1% smaller than the one above it. So it makes like a cool 3D effect. So now you're just going to click on the f copy 20, 
hold shift and go down to copy the first one and then hit control E to merge them and my color scheme on Windows 7 just changed because I was recording um, but never mind that um, so now you have this and now you can add this one back on and you don't really see much of a difference except it comes out more but now to make it look like it's 3D what you're gonna wanna do is uh, instead of doing color overlay in case you wanna do something else to this uh, create a new layer above that layer now hold alt and click on the layer one right here in between and that'll create a clipping mask you can also do it instead of doing that you can right click and click create clipping mask and it'll do the same thing um, now you're gonna want to find a color such as like a dark gray that'll look good for a background thing uh, like a 3d part and now just size up your brush by hitting the right bar right bracket next to the P on your keyboard the P uh, letter letter P and then just go over it and it'll make that uh, gray so now it looks 3D but what you want to do now to make it look even better is uh, basically just click on your first layer again hold control on your keyboard while clicking on the image here what that'll do is it'll make a selection of the entire thing and these little marquee uh, rows like dot dashes will come up to let you know that it is selected now uh, what you can do there is click on the marquee tool there's another way to do it but I forget um, oh first off sorry about that you need to create a new layer and then click on the marquee tool and then you can hit stroke now uh, you're gonna want to stroke it in not a complete white but like an off white so like right around here maybe and then hit OK uh, make it t about 10 pixels looks good for if you have a thousand by thousand uh, pixel setup and then what that's going to do is it's going to give you this nice neat stroke around the SB logo so that looks really sexy um, now you can't really see it on the edges but if you go into something like here and I just go to I'm in the wrong thing of course my GFX folder my concept art folder and you just find something to throw in the background like maybe the city or something and then you have that in the background and you size it up by hitting the link button and dragging it out till it sizes up completely and then now you drag this to the bottom above the layer zero so what you do so now you can see the cool aspect of that coming through and now you can add whatever whatever pictures here's a picture from Killzone you can add whatever pictures you want to it to make it 3D pop out um, I will I guess I could show you this part uh, this one will be harder because it's all white but I'll make it work so what you want to do for this is you want to now put this over that um, you're going to create a clipping mask by holding alt and clicking on the kill zone 3 or you can right click and create clipping mask and it'll do the same thing uh, now you want what you want to do is press control J to duplicate this kill zone 3 image and now what you can do there is you can move this above the white and then you can basically use uh, not that you can use this which is the quick selection thing majig yeah quick selection tool and basically you size it up and you can slop I'm just gonna sloppily do this because if you want it to look right you gotta do it quickly um, I'm clicked on the wrong layer of course so don't do that um, make sure you clicked on the killzone 3 layer while you do this or whatever image you're adding so you just go like this basically go over his hood blah 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 I'm just gonna do this real quick because this usually you can take up to like 10 minutes doing this make sure you get everything perfect so there's no white showing or anything but I'm just gonna do this as quick as possible for the sake of this tutorial um, get his arm get this parts um, you can see there is some stuff like some of the white here sticking out now if you wanna unselect it hold alt and you'll see the minus comes up on your quick selection tool and then just press and minus wherever you want and same with this um, add this make sure that's there um, make sure that's there so basically that's a rough uh, idea of what you do now just uh, do control C control V to copy that you can hide this layer and do whatever now what you do is since you have this clipping mask you can just basically take the eraser tool and on the top layer here just uh, size it up a bit I like to turn the opacity down so I can see the lines underneath it. Uh, basically, just you can just erase away. Maybe you want to keep his arm, so maybe I'll do that. Actually, no, I don't. I don't care. That'll take too long to keep his arm there.
but just a race away and a race till you get to the top here. And now basically just put on 100% opacity and uh, you have a cool looking uh, logo but I screwed up a little bit by erasing that part. So let me just redo this. Just go like that. Make sure to erase this. And make sure to get on the white there. And then now turn this back up to 100% opacity. And you have a, a simple, quick 3D logo. And you can see the edges are a little rough because I didn't do it properly because I did it quickly. Um, but also just, you know, add a text layer here somewhere um, underneath the logo and above the cityscape or whatever. And you can just put a uh, name for the tutorial's sake. Uh, make sure that's middle. And then uh, I'm going to make that white for now. An off white. And then. Uh, what you can do is hit Control T to open up the transform controls. Uh, click on this warp thing again, and then click on. There's presets here, so this is a good thing to use. Um, I'm gonna put on an arch, and you can see it's arching upward right now. You can make it arch down by putting this negative. So now it's arching upward, which will look good. And that's basically it. You're basically done. Uh, you can make a duplicate of this and then throw this above it and make a clipping mask onto that and then just take it and drag it down and you'll get some sort of thing and then you can also make a white layer uh, f to stroke over this if you want or you can just add a straight up stroke in the effects control but it'll work uh, there should be a stroke thing in here instead of having to go to the marquee tool I think maybe not maybe I'm seeing stuff but that's basically it. You can just go to the marquee tool and right click, stroke, and then temp. Uh, you can make this a little bit smaller because it's the name, so it'll be less. So make this like six maybe. And see how it looks. And then control D to deselect so you get rid of those lines. And now you have a simple, cool, quick 3D logo that took me I don't know how long. It took me 12 minutes to make uh, doing the tutorial. Um, you can take more time to do it, of course. Uh, experiment, try new things, try different. Uh, logos, different pieces of art that you use to put on the logo, like this kill zone some Sky City background. But uh if you like this video, uh please like and comment and subscribe if you can. Um I plan on doing more if I get good feedback on this. I'll do more tutorials on different things for people that don't know how to do stuff yet. Um I'm not calling myself I'm not great at GFX, but I know the ins and outs and how to make good, like, good, I make good AVIs, if you see, I'll show you some that I have, um, you can see this one, uh, that's bad, this one's good, uh, this is the same one, uh, I have some, this is all old stuff, uh, these ones are good, these error ones I have, this one's for error 60, I made him, uh, this one is one that I gave out on Twitter, uh, this one I made for Zrid on, Twitter and Xbox. I was talking to him and he said, uh, I asked him if he wanted to do a logo and he said, okay. Uh, these are just Destiny characters, these two. Um, same with this one I made for L7 Reggie, which is kind of ugly because the L7 logo is kind of ugly. Uh, this one, yeah, the L7 logo is smaller too. The L7 logo is only like a 600 by 600 pixel setup. So that's why you see more of the lines here and how it's all like rigid and stuff like that. Now, it doesn't do that if you make it bigger and you make sure to like soften the edges and stuff like that by going around with the racer and stuff. But that's basically it. I don't want to try to kill you guys with making you watch this video. But so thank you for watching. Uh, I'll have more tutorials out if you guys would like. Uh, suggest some if you want in the comments section below uh, what you'd like to see. And I'll try to get to it. So uh, thanks, guys, and have a nice day. I'm out. Bye.